What you playing? I can't break it. Hold on. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We have a great sponsor today for those looking for fitness anywhere. The Fit Home Gym is easy to assemble and portable. It took me a very short time to get everything up once unpacked. I'd probably say a minute. Super easy and you can do multiple exercises like pull-ups, dips, L-sits, and even some power movements like high pulls. If you're looking for something like this, use code TERRAN30 down below for $30 off. You have a slim gym first thing in the morning. All right. All right. We got a slim gym for breakfast. Yo, this hoe is spicy. Oh, I got this is a spicy one. Oh yeah, so meaty it's savage. We in Houston right now. Houston is staying with my brother. Man, I wish he didn't live so far. He's like 30 minutes to an hour away from everything. You know, I'll be going to Alpha Land and all that type. But like, if I go to Alpha Land, I gotta plan it. I can't just be like, oh, let's go to Alpha Land, cause that's a 45 minute trip, bro. It's not about to happen. You got to plan that joint. Like, we just went to the LA Fitness down the street. I'm here for a week. Well, I'm here on this side for a week. And then my birthday is in two days. My birthday is Thursday, July 28th. Leo gang! July 28th. And um, I'll probably stay for the week. Finish off the week. And then um, stay on the other. Bro, see, this is how it is. So, we out here in Houston, right? I'm staying with my brother. We're experiencing upper the upside of downtown like from the top of downtown to up to when you enter houston we're, we're in spring so that's our travel distance and then for the next week i'm going to rent an airbnb and we're going to experience the lower side of houston because you know we plan on moving out here so this has kind of been like the hub for fitness um you know especially with alpha land uh, corrupt strength and a lot of other gyms and people out here so yeah it's, it's, the fitness community out here is you know super booming um a lot better than dallas and um as far as like actual like you know content creators and stuff so hopefully uh we can get a good experience because we, we've been here before we've been to the springs we've been up the upper part of houston already we hated it so much it was because we, we hated it so much because we forced ourselves to travel all the way down to like alpha land corruption these 45 minute trips to the gym and stuff like every day and our our whole job our whole identity is is like being in the gym so it has to be convenient for us so that's why we're going to book the the trip um to be on the lower side of houston in missouri city or somewhere in bel-air or whatever that's a bit closer so uh let's go ahead to this gym i found this gym it's called like believe believe fitness some shit like that the gym looked dope um we got a mainly upper body but full body type of workout uh got my xfl stuff on and i'll kind of give you the deets once we get there let's go went to pick up a smoothie you got a pineapple spinach from smoothie kings for breakfast so yeah um i put the i put the chico stick down and got this pulled up to the gym looks dope it looks hot it's a warehouse their windows and shit is open i'm hopefully they got some big ass um stadium fan bro this hoe is long bro this joint boom to boom to doom this joint long long show your thong man it's a big ass looking gym i don't know if it's this this whole warehouse building is the gym fully but this hoe yo this my kind of place man I ain't even walked in yet. I haven't even walked in yet, and I already said this is my kind of place. Yo, imagine if I walk in, but like this time my kind of place. You know what I'm saying? But uh, let's go ahead and get out this car, man. That smoothie was good. I, this uh was pineapple spinach from Smoothie King, and uh, yo, I'm I'm I want some protein, but all right, 
let me give y'all a quick chat. So one of the main reasons why I'm with Transparent Lab that I, I mean, one of the main, so one of the main reasons I'm glad I'm with Transparent Lab. So for the longest, I don't know if you noticed, but I've only been promoting vegan protein. And the reason with vegan protein is because I thought I was allergic to milk. Um, you know, I've, I've mentioned in past videos that I would get a crazy itch across my entire body that would prevent me from training, honestly doing anything. I remember a time where I had a conversation with Larry Wills and like I was getting so itchy, I, I had to like run off. I was like, I'm sorry, bro. And I just had to like run off and run to the bathroom and throw water on myself. And I found out that it's not milk because I ended up accidentally um, taking the Transparent Labs protein, the regular whey protein, and I was fine. And I was like, that's strange, you know, because every time I take a protein shake that's not vegan, I, I always get itchy. So there's this other product that I take. I remember taking this product early in the morning, first thing, first thing in the morning, and I started getting itchy off of it, right? And so I looked at another product that I know makes me itchy, and I looked, and the only, and there was only one ingredient in both of them that, um, that matched, and that, <laughs> the product was the freaking artificial sweetener. It's called uh, sucralose sucralose. It's an artificial sweetener, and that has been the cause of my itching. So I've been like eating cheese and because I, you know, I can eat I can eat cheese sometimes like pizza and pasta and I'll be fine. It's artificial sweetener called sucralose, and the reason why I can take Transparent Labs protein is because they use stevia instead you know the plant-based um the sweetener stevia and it's not an artificial sweetener I can, I can take somewhat aspartame but only in like i can't take too much and so sucralose is the main ingredient that makes me itch shout out to transparent labs you know i'm i'm, I'm glad this company came along because now i've been taking my whey protein getting more protein in and uh you know because the whey proteins have better flavors so the vegan protein wasn't bad but the whey protein, once again, has better flavors. And uh, I'm enjoying like taking whey and stuff again. But uh, that's enough of me ranting. Once again, use code to Ron, 10% off. Uh, you might have the problem also. So there you go. Definitely check that out. Let's get into this gym. Worked out yet, bro? I just been filming B-roll and stuff. And look, look at how much I'm sweating, man. We are gonna get this workout in, man. We are gonna get some, some, just some work done, man. Get some conditioning, some upper body, some chest mainly. Um, but we gonna, we gonna really do it, man. And yeah, this is. Remember when I was like, uh, what if I get in and like this ain't my type of gym? Nah, this is my type of gym, boy. You feel me? Damn, I gotta move out here, bro. I gotta move out here around the, the mid to lower area of Houston, man, and get some get some crazy content, some crazy work in, man. So much space in this gym and that whole area back there that was empty. That shit's just dope for content, you feel me? So let's get to work, man. What's good, YouTube? This is the moment, the reason why you're watching this video, but you see me in that XFL gear, man. You already know, uh, in that Under Armour. I was like, ah, uh, we better get some uh, free Under Armour. Goddamn Rock, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just to kind of throw base, yes, The Rock was there. Uh, him and Danny Garcia were there. Um, and it was cool, man. He gave us a little speech before the tryouts, you know. I thought that was dope. And then we uh, continued on to our work and all the coaches were there. All the XFL coaches from each state was there or each city was there. And um, they, we really had to show out for this combine. But to give y'all the deets on how I did, I, in that moment, felt like I did fantastic. Like that was kind of how I want to come out a combine. There was a few things that of course I could have rushed up on. Um, there was a drill that I just, ugh, 
I hated this drill. I did the same drill for the ANC combine and I was just like, it didn't make sense to me for a real in-game situation, but they said that they just want to see your hips move or something for it. And even still, it wasn't an efficient movement for in-game, you know? Um, but yeah, any, other than that, everything was good. I did not come in as fast as I wanted to. And once again, I, I don't know because, all right, so I came in at weighing like 239, 238, 239. And I ran a 4.6 still, but it was a lower 4.6. And we only ran once. We only did everything once. And that bugged me. Like we got out an hour early and we had plenty of time to still do twice. So I didn't understand why we didn't do what we were supposed to like twice, you know? Like, like, give us our chances, you know? Well, that's the only kind of complaint I have about it. But um, as far as the 40, once again, a 4.6, my uh, L drill, uh, 7.1. My fastest is a 6.8, um, but I was like 220 something. I, actually, it's more so technique. That L drill is more so technique than anything. And if I got the technique down, I'm pretty sure I could have ran that 6.8. Six, uh, six, um, and moving on, there was like this breakaway data thing, which I've talked to them and hopefully I can get um, some film and stuff from them and we'll do like a breakdown of my movement and just kind of explaining what it does. But I think it's a pretty cool concept and I think I killed it on that. It kind of just shows like your power output, your angles, your joint angles, uh, how to move efficiently and stuff. And once again, I for sure killed it on that. And another, something else I killed it on was the triple broad jump. I did a 33.9 triple bod jump. So that's like 11 feet each jump, you know, or just, you know, collectively that's a long jump and it was one of the best out of like all combines. I feel like I think the farthest was like 34, three or something. So for me to be 240 pounds and jumping at 33.9, I think that was pretty good. I think the coaches were definitely impressed with that. Um, and then one more thing, yo, so I know there is like some, there's some 4.3 runners there that I know run 4.3s. I watch videos of them running 4.3s and they clocked in as some 4.5s. So I feel like, you know, they, we, they them, them coaches might be kind of, you know, slow with them hands. I'm pretty sure because I, I know what a fast 40 feels like for me and I for sure know that i was in the lower four fives high four fours with that 40. you know it had to be somewhere probably a lower four or five the second one probably would have been like a high four four but i'm just saying not complaining you know it is what it is um but in all the combine went well for me i'm just right now still waiting for somebody to uh reach out uh, let me know that I'm in the player invite pool for the draft. I've been, I've always dreamed of being drafted um, some way, and uh, that would be such a dope opportunity for me. Um, I know I'm older; um, I just turned 30, so you know I'm these younger guys. But 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 then again, I'm outperforming these younger guys coming straight out of college. You know, simple as that. I've been keeping up with my fitness, been keeping up with movement. I've been doing a lot better with movement lately um this past year especially with rugby that really kind of gave me a, a kick start to it uh but i will keep you guys updated let you know and uh yeah enjoy the rest of the video done with the workout by the head back to the house that last circuit i did five sets we did five reps of the deadlift to push press or shoulder press of uh, five reps down to the ground pushing up and then 10 calories on the assault bike for five sets to finish out the workout. Sweating like crazy, it's time to get something to eat. You know what I'm saying? Go pick up babes if you wanna go do something. But uh, I had a good ass workout, man, you know? So let's go ahead and go. Huh, baby? Yeah. Talking about sore. Huh, no. Your little tail. Weaky, weaky, weaky. Go. <laughs> July 3rd. July 3rd? 30th? Oh, no, there's no 30th. You said July 30th. July 30th. There's no 30th this year. What? I'm, just, I'm, I'm tripping. <laughs> there is no 30th. What? 
Is every, July 30th? Every month has a 30th outside of February, baby. <laughs> Oh, you, you thinking of thirty one? Oh yeah, thirty one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my, <laughs> Ooh, my, my Jack, about to step on up. Talk about saying thirty. They making uh, my favorite toast. And some egg whites and whatnot. She just got through walking four miles today. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think it was actual four miles. Maybe like a it, mile no, and a half. It's, it's not a mile and a half. So it's one point eight. Did you take the actual route or did you take a little skip throughs? No, I took the route. Uh huh. There ain't really much skip-throughs. The parking lot, that's a skip-through. It don't count for walking through that parking lot and make it go around and it about. It actually counted me just approaching the parking lot and said you made it. So it didn't even count me walking to the door. What you want? Thank you very much. Look at this, man. We ain't gonna have kids until never. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Stop it. Ah! No! For no reason. For no reason. This one just just as annoying. Ain't that right? 